I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So to prepare ourselves now to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we're also celebrating the feast of St. Rita. And I will say a little more about Rita. Read a biography of her in at the, God, at the gospel there. But we pray and ask St. Rita to give us the faith that she had. She had tremendous faith in the Lord. And when, her, well, we say, you'll hear all about it later. So we pause for a moment. We just ask the Lord to help us now to follow her example and that we'll always put Jesus first and foremost in our lives. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Here is the answer for you who talk like this. Today or tomorrow, we are off to this or that town. We are going to spend a year there, trading and make some money. You, know, you never know that. What will happen tomorrow? You are no more than a mist that is here for a little while and then disappears. The most of you should ever say is, if it is the Lord's will, we shall still be alive to do this or that. But how proud and sure of yourself you are now. Pride of this kind is always wicked. Everyone who knows what is the right things to do and doesn't do it, commit a sin. The word of the Lord. How happy are the poor in spirit, there is the kingdom of heaven. How happy are all the poor in spirit, there is the kingdom of heaven. Hear this, all you peoples, give heed all who dwell in the world, men both low and high, rich and poor alike. How happy are the poor in spirit, there is the kingdom of heaven. Why should I fear in evil days? The, the malice of the foes who surround me, men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. How happy there is the kingdom of heaven. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. How happy, How happy are the Lord in spirit. spirit there is the kingdom of heaven. He knows, he knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. How, How happy are the Lord in spirit. There is the kingdom of heaven. Let us stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia. says the Lord, 
No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. John said to Jesus, Master, we saw a man who is not one of us casting out devils in your name. And because he was not one of us, we tried to stop him. But Jesus said, you must not stop him. No one who works a miracle in my name is likely to speak evil of me. Anyone who is not against us is for us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Rita of Kaskia. Popular religious depiction of St. Rita. Oh, this is a picture. Rita was born near Kaskia in Umbria in Italy. She was married at the age of 12, despite her frequently repeated wish to become a nun. Her husband was rich, quick-tempered, and immoral, and had many enemies. She endured his insults, abuse, and infidelities for 18 years and bore him two sons who grew to be like him. Towards the end of his life, she helped to convert her husband to a more pious way of life. But he was stabbed to death by his enemies not long afterwards. He repented before he died and was reconciled to the church. Her sons planned to avenge their father's death. When Rita's pleas were unavailing, she prayed that God would take their lives if that was the only way to preserve them from the sin of murder. They died of natural causes a year later. Rita asked to join the convent of St. Mary Magdalene of Kaskia. She was rejected for being a widow since the convent was for virgins only, and later given the impossible task of reconciling her family with her husband's murderers. She carried out the task and was allowed to enter the convent at the age of 36, and she remained there until her death at the age of 70. She's widely honored as the patron saint of impossibles or lost causes. So she's my patron saint. We pray and ask Rita to help all people who feel lost, who feel impossible, to get on with people, that she will help them as she helped so many in her life. We pray in thanksgiving for us having a saint like this in our church. So we stand now for our prayers.
people of God. Let us pray to the Father for the welfare of the church and the salvation of the world. And we pray for the repose of the soul of P.J. Pragism, whose anniversary it is and for whom we're offering this Mass. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the missionaries that they may bring growth and increase to the church through sincere and patient dialogue with non-Christians. Lord, in your mercy. That all members of the church may promote Christian unity by gratefully acknowledging the presence of Christ in the lives and good works of our separated brethren. Lord, in your mercy, for the peace and prosperity of all peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, that the nations of the world may cooperate to ensure a fairer distribution of the world's resources. Lord, in your mercy, we pray, too, for our young people, many of whom now are doing their major examinations, that the Holy Spirit will guide and help them to receive the results they need for their futures. Lord, in your mercy. And we ask Mary now to join with us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, we acknowledge our dependence on you as St. Rita did. In your love, give your people the gifts which your word had prompted us to ask for in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Blessed Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Yes, Lord, Lord, Lord. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be the Lord. humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquity, cleanse us all of our sins. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God. The Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands. Praise and glory of the proud and of all the servitors. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, and the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, 
He has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Rita of Kasha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same command upon by divine teaching we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always 
free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spiritual communion for those who've joined us online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things we desire to receive into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as so we're already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad and sing psalms to your name, O Most High.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you all very much and have a nice day. And if it, some of you could stay behind and give a, uh, the church a bit of a clean, be very grateful. Thank you.